My name is Arcelia Gonzalez, and I am the undergraduate advisor for students here with TAMIU College of Ed. So basically, my role is to basically advise them in their career path, depending on the major that they are choosing. Since we have a wide range of variety of majors, it is my job to make sure that they have all the admissions requirements or keep them on track if they're not. And if there's a challenge or there's a discrepancy somewhere there, make them aware of it and how to fix it or what we can do and just keep them informed so that way they make their best choice for them. Since I am the one of the undergraduate advisors for College of Ed, the population I see is everyone trying to get admitted into the College of Ed and basically guiding them within their all the way up until they're admitted. So and making sure that they have a successful first semester. So that's basically kind of like the range of, I guess you can say population and demographic that I deal with. So it varies a lot. We're an international university, so that's one, I feel like that's one of the perks from this university. Actually being my own personal experience, actually graduating from here, from TAMIU, I did see that when I was a student here was the vast need for more variety of educators, more professors, and also finances plays a big role because the vast majority of the students and even when I got my education, I relied solely on financial aid. My parents weren't fortunate enough to be able to pay for my education. So I, I really relied on state government's mm -hmm. help. So I know that TAMIU does a great job in trying to make sure that everyone is able to get some sort of help, but I feel like finances for a lot of students, especially now as an advisor to them, I'm seeing that it's still an occurring issue. A lot of them don't receive enough to pay for all their classes, so it really becomes an issue on trying to keep them on track on, to graduate because if we're expected to give them, let's say, full-time status, but a student, unfortunately, their tuition doesn't, or their financial aid doesn't cover full-time status, then we need to work it out to where they're taking less classes, and that could potentially delay them for graduation. Doesn't mean they won't graduate, it just means it's gonna take them a little longer. Yes, I actually had one actually this week. I had a transfer student coming in from LC with her was a little stressful <coughs> just because she was so far ahead. She is a sophomore, classified as a sophomore based on TAMIU criteria, and she's barely gonna, she's on track to getting admitted hopefully of for fall 23. But because of financial aid, we had to kind of tweak her schedule to get approval from the chair and our dean, our James O'Mara. So she was able to meet hours for full-time status with financial aid, not being admitted into College of Ed. So thankfully, I was able to, the whole team pretty much was a group effort with the student letting me know, myself letting the chair and the dean know, hey, we have this issue, she's on track, she's super far ahead but is there a way we can allow her to take or register for her for a junior level course? Because she's so far ahead. And the reason she needs it is for her in order to receive her full financial aid. The student was panicking. She was like, what am I gonna do? I know technically I'm not allowed to take those classes because I'm not admitted yet, but I'm on track. Is there a way they could like bend the rules a little bit for me? I was like, let me talk to the chair and the dean, Dr. Fartis and Dr. Romero. Let me see what we can come up with. I'm sure we'll find a solution to where your financial aid doesn't get affected. I completely understand why you're panicking, but let's not think worst case scenario just yet. <laughs> There's more options. So my job was kind of to reassure her that everything would be okay. 
and we were able to talk it out and talk to Dr. O'Mara and Dr. Park. These were great in helping me out with this particular student. So we did find a solution. I reached out to her, let her know, hey, this is the solution we came up with. So your financial aid, no issue there. We're getting you what you need. And she was very, very excited and very thankful. What I've seen is that, especially our, our particular students who go through college vet are very prepared on the demographic, especially if they stay here in Laredo. They understand the needs, they understand the barriers that our students are facing or could potentially face. And even some of the international students, because we have a variety of different uh, variation of professors from different backgrounds. So I really like that our particular pathway here in TAMIU with College of Ed has that distinction, has that variety, because it prepares our future professors or teachers know that, hey, there's just not one type of population. More in individuals exist in the world.